Easter's coming. Easter's coming. Well, hello there. Great to see you. It sure is. How have you been? Great. Terrific. Wonderful. Well, as you can see, I've come up in the world. I don't travel by putt-putt anymore. I've got my very own train. Oh, you all know Chugs, don't you? He's the famous little engine who could. How'd you do? How'd you do? How'd you do? Shh. Well, this time I've got a load of Easter eggs, and jelly beans, and of course, tons and tons of mail. All for the Easter Bunny. Why, he gets almost as much as Santa. And every year, they're the same. Some children ask for colored eggs, others for toy bunnies and candy. But a lot of ask questions, like this one, for instance. I bet one of you wrote it. Why do we color eggs at Easter? Where did the Easter Bunny come from? And why does he hide eggs? My turn. Who made the first chocolate bunny? And the first stuffed toy? And why? Why does everyone get new clothes at Easter? Why are Easter flowers called lilies? Now, hold on, hold on. If you really want to know, I can tell you. He certainly can. He certainly can. He certainly can. See? I'm an old friend of the Easter Bunny. So, you come right along with me while I tell you all about it. All about it. All about it. Hey, the sun's about to come up, and that means just one thing for sure. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Here's hoping he's hippity-hopping your way. So straighten your bonnets and shine up all your shoes. And hurry, there's no time to lose. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. He's riding an engine instead of a sleigh. Don't blink for even a second or he'll be gone. He puffs in at quarter to dawn. He'll be filling Easter baskets. He'll be rolling eggs like mad. Green in everything that's winter clad. The Easter Bunny is coming to town today. Here's hoping he's hippity hopping your way. So get your brushes and paints, give him a hand. It's Easter throughout all the land. So you want to know all about the Easter one, huh? Well, oh, I'll just set the throttle on the remote control. You'll be okay, won't you, Chugs? You know I will, you know I will, you know I will, you know I will, you know I will. Well, it all began many years ago, far, far away, way over on the other side of Big Rock Mountain. There settled snugly in a little valley was a fantastic village known as Kidville. Now, the reason it was known as Kidville was because no one but children lived there. A spunky, brave, ragtag little community of young fellas and girls. And no grown-ups at all. Why, there was a kid mayor and a kid policeman and firemen and even a kid mailman. <laughs> yep, that's me way back when. That's how come I know this story so well. Not one grown-up in the whole shebang. See, all the children were orphans. And they had gathered together in this remote little valley, cut off from the rest of the world by Big Rock Mountain, to make a life for themselves. Sometimes it was lonely, and sometimes it was scary. Like when big old Gadzooks rumbled around the mountain to bother them. Gadzooks, the giant bear who lived in a lonely cave on Big Rock Mountain. He'd usually show up on holidays, and if it was Christmas, he'd take all the kids' toys. If it was, say, Halloween, he'd take their pumpkins. And if it was somebody's birthday, he'd take the cake. Yes, sir. 
But aside from the problems with Gadzooks, it was a pretty good life. Kind and peaceful and sometimes full of fun. Everybody shared everything and worshipped the Lord in their own way. That's how they found the bunny rabbit. It's a baby bunny. We won't hurt you, little fellow. Are you alone? Where are your parents? You have no mommy and daddy? Are, are, are you an orphan too? Just like us. Aw, poor little thing. What do we call him? Do you have a name? He sure likes the sun. That's it. We'll call him Sonny. <laughs> Sonny. He likes his name. Yay, Sonny! And so he was named after the Easter morning sunrise and the rebirth of life it represented. He was taken back to Kidville and became the town's official pet. Now, rabbits grow much faster than kids, and being one rabbit among a lot of kids, little Sonny grew more like a kid than a bunny. But soon, he was one year old, full grown, and as bright and as smart as anybody in Kidville. He was a born leader, and that very same afternoon at the town meeting, and I say Kidsville's got to expand. We've got to send the things we make to the outside world and get the things we need in exchange. What things, Sonny? Uh, well, there's our eggs. How about our eggs? No eggs in the world can top Kidville eggs. Yay! He was right. I guess those wonderful Kidville eggs were about the best ever. Big and white and beautiful. That was because of the Hendrew sisters. Three truly remarkable chickens, the queens of the chicken coop. What came first, Mr. Kluger, the chicken or the egg? Girls, if you please. Really? What a question to ask us. I mean, did you ever? <laughs> Let's tell it like it was, girls. What came first, the chicken or the egg? What a silly riddle. Just like asking who came first, the pussycat or the fiddle. The chicken was first that we came through with a little Bible lesson. When Noah took the animals on the ark, that sure fixed the progression. Of what came first, the chicken or the egg, what's there to agree on? Just like asking who came first, the fountain or Ponce de Leon. There was no egg aboard that ark, just a Mr. and Mrs. Chicken. When the water dried up, they hatched an egg that should make the plot unthicken. About what came first, the chicken or the egg? What a crazy query. Just like asking who came first, the cow or Mrs. O'Leary. Yeah! What came first, the chicken or the egg? Now it's not a mystery. The chicken was first. The egg was last. And that's written down in history. What are you doing? Who's going to eat all those eggs? Make mine three minutes. What am I saying? Oh, my. I can't bear to watch a month's work boiled. Oh, I'm boiling them so that they won't get broken on the trip over the Big Rock Mountain. Solid, man. Exactly. And the next day, bright and early, he set off to spread the good word about Kidville to the outside world. It was Easter morning, just one year after he had been found. Farewell, kids. I'm off to... to... Where? Where? Uh, well, I'll find something. Farewell. Bye. Howdy, neighbor. Who, who are you? Hallelujah's the name. Hallelujah H. Jones. I'm Sonny. Clever name. Where are you bound? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Been there a lot of times. <laughs> Best part is you never have to worry about getting there on time. Well, maybe you can help me. I've got to find some place to sell these eggs. Well, I just come from a burg. Uh, yes, sir, them eggs would sure go big over there. Where? 
Oh, way over to the other side, a big rock, a place called uh, Town. Town? Just Town? Well, it's either Town or Town Town. Can't rightly remember. But I do remember there wasn't an egg to, st uh, to buy anywhere. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, Hallelujah. Where are you headed? Uh, where'd you say you just come from? Kidville. Well, then, that's where I'm headed. If you ain't there, they got room for one more. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was quite a climb over that mountain, and just as Sonny got to the top... Oh, no! Gadzooks! Gadzooks! It was Gadzooks. Gadzooks! I want to make... Sonny kept on hopping down the other side of the mountain, right up to the gates of town. Town was the most dismal, unpleasant place Sonny had ever seen. Nobody laughed. Everybody dressed in black, and pretty flowers were against the law. Excuse me, sir, but where are the children? Shh. Oh, children are against the law. As soon as a little boy or girl gets born here, the whole family's got to move away. That's terrible. Shh. I agree. Who makes these laws? Shh. Him and her. King Bruce the Frail, only seven years old, and his aunt, the Dowager Duchess Lily Longtooth. He was the king, but it was Lily who really ruled the town. But, but, must I, Aunt Lily? You will do as I tell you. Eat your beans. That's all anybody eats in this kingdom. Beans, beans, and more beans. I think beans are sufficient. And what I think is so. Now eat your beans. You must set a good example to your subjects. Remember, you are king. <laughs> I don't want to be king. I want to be just an ordinary kid, like everybody else. You'll stay king and like it. <laughs> Your Majesty. No wonder Hallelujah said those eggs would be a hit here. Now, of course, the whole problem was getting those eggs past Gadzooks. It was old Hallelujah Jones who came up with the solution. See? They're disguised. That dumb old bear won't know what they are. The first colored Easter eggs. The very first. <laughs> Little Sonny had no idea he and Hallelujah were starting a tradition. And so he started over that mountain again with a fresh supply of disguised eggs on his way back to town. Rabbit! Cat soups! Any more eggs? Funny! Rabbit! Oh, let me tell you, little Sonny was in lots of trouble. Lots of trouble, lots of trouble, lots of trouble, lots of trouble, lots of trouble. Any more eggs? Rabbit? Uh, no, nothing but a lot of colored stones to sell as paperweights. Gad sooks, what do I want with stones? I live on Big Rock. Rabbit? I want eggs. You go back and get me eggs. Uh, some other time. Bye. Can you, that ain't the way to Kidville. Can you come back here? Who goes 
sir. Me, sir? Uh, happy Easter? Uh, what is this? Well, I guess you'd call it, um, an Easter egg. Easter egg? Yeah, one for you, too. Easter eggs? Yeah. And that was the first time anybody ever called him that. Why not give it a try? Peel one and take a bite. Not me. I'm not going to be first. Doesn't look like it would taste good anyway. Yeah, me neither. Well, if everybody felt that way, we'd probably still be eating leaves and flowers. Somebody has to be first, you know? The first man to eat an oyster. To his great shock, he found a pearl. The first man to shine that rock up found the best friend of a girl. Someone's gotta be first. All things gotta be faced. Someone's gotta brave the worst. Someone's gotta take a taste. The first man to eat a pickle said this cucumber's rather dill. The first man to find a salt mine thought the worth of it was nil. Someone's gotta be first. All things gotta be faced. Someone's gotta brave the worst. Someone's gotta take a taste. The first man to eat potatoes, he stumbled on the basic root. Said the first man to eat an onion. What a strange, peculiar fruit. Someone's gotta be first. All things gotta be faced. Someone's gotta break the worst. Someone's gotta take a taste. Delicious. Someone's gotta take a taste. Well, the citizens of town were delighted with the Easter eggs. But why didn't he hide them? I thought he always hid them. Hiding them came later. Now, don't get ahead of the story. Of course, no one was more delighted than little King Bruce. Wow! What is it? An Easter egg. Why Easter egg? Well, because it's got springtime colors, and I'm giving it on Easter. Well, if this is an Easter egg, you must be the Easter Bunny. <laughs> well, nobody ever called me that before. Sure they did. Who? Me, and I'm the king. What I say goes. <laughs> okay. I hereby dub you the Easter Bunny, Royal Knight of the Rainbow Eggs. And that's how he got his name and rank. Oh, that's how. What do you do with these Easter eggs? Eat them. Just like an ordinary egg? Well, I guess they're not ordinary. I guess there should be a sort of a ritual. What ritual? Uh, good question. Let's see. First, you hold it up and look at it. And then you say, Ooh, isn't that pretty? Ooh! Isn't that pretty? Yeah, then you sort of look concerned and say, Seems a shame to eat it. Seems a shame to eat it. Uh-huh. Then you kind of think it over and you say, Heck, that's what Easter eggs are for. Heck, that's what Easter eggs are for. <laughs> yeah. That's just the way it always happens at my house. Mine too. Then you sort of peel the colored shell off, and if you're a real Easter egg expert, you keep it all in one piece. I'm an expert. I'm an expert. Now do we eat them? Not the whole darn thing at once. First you kind of nibble at the white. Then, when you got nothing left but the yolk, you sort of consider it, study it. Sniff it a little. <laughs> Wonder about its magic and color and... Ooh, down it goes. Ah, 
delicious. Ah, delicious. And that's the traditional way of eating an Easter egg. Starting now. Someone's gotta be first. All things gotta be faced. Someone's gotta brave the worst. Someone's gotta take a taste. What's going on here? Oh, hi, Aunt Lily. You want an Easter egg? We've got loads of them. Let me see those. Oh, what vulgar colors. Wait a moment. This is a real egg. You know that beans are the only food allowed. Uh, this is Sunny, the Easter Bunny. Your ladyship. <gasps> a rodent, a hairy little animal in the king's chambers. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you must pass a new law immediately. All eggs are illegal, and Easter eggs are expressly forbidden. <laughs> no! No! Immediately. So be it. What? So be it. And now, Your Royal Majesty, you will go to bed without supper. Yes, Aunt Lily. <laughs> Sorry I made you miss your supper. Aw, oh, that's all right. It was going to be more beans again anyway. Maybe when I come back next Easter, I could bring some beans. A very special Easter beans. Sonny kept his word. And for months and months, he labored with Herbert the Baker and Hallelujah Jones, trying to make an Easter bean. Oh, they had many failures. But then one day... It's done! Hallelujah! Let's see. Easy now. Easy now. Mmm, delicious! Mmm, delicious. Mmm, mmm, delicorous! <laughs> Why, do you know what they'd gone and invented? Jelly beans! Right. The world's first Easter jelly beans. Well, Easter was only a little way off, and the Hendry sisters had to make lots of new Easter eggs. On the day before Easter, Sonny started out for town again. Eggs and jelly beans, eggs and jelly beans, eggs and jelly beans, eggs and jelly beans. Oh, of course, wouldn't you know old Gad Zooks met him again? Rabbit! Gad Zooks! Let me see that! Gad Zooks, give them back to me, please! Bah, more colored stones! I hate colored stones! Rabbit! All their hard work for nothing. Well, Sonny and his friends thought they'd lost all those colored eggs. They were pretty down, let me tell you. Pretty down, pretty down, pretty down, pretty down, pretty down, pretty down. But when they got close to Kidville, they were surprised to hear... I found one! Me too! I got a green and pink one. I got a blue. What, what's, what's going on here? Why, they're having the time of their lives. Those eggs came flying out of the sky and hid themselves good and proper. So everybody in Kidville came out here to hunt them up. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are having so much fun looking for the eggs. I think that from here on in, I'll always hide them. That's why he hides them. That's why. Now, Sonny realized he'd have to do something to get past old Gadzooks. 
So he had a meeting with all the kid tailors in town. And they worked all night long following his instructions. Bright and early Easter morning, Sonny set out, this time hoping that he would run into Gadzooks. <laughs> Soon that old grizzly had chased Sonny right up to the edge of town, just as Sonny had planned. Happy Easter, Gadzooks! For, for me? Now you can be all pretty for Easter. Honey bear, sweetie pie, sugar love. Gadzooks! <laughs> And that big suit of clothes for a giant grizzly bear was the first Easter outfit ever. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this for me. Why? Nobody loves old Gadzooks. Uh, that's your trouble, Gadzooks. You gotta like yourself before you can expect anyone else to. You've gotta stop your growling and smile. The sand can't run through your toes if you're wearing shoes. The sun can't shine on your nose if you got the blues. You've got the wrong end of the wishbone. And your dinner's beans and corn pone And you think nobody loves you, but they do Take your shoes off, friend, let the sand run through your toes Through your toes Shake the blues off, friend, let the sun shine on your nose On your nose Just get a thumb up on that wishbone Put some honey on your corn pone And I'll bet someone will love you if you do if you do, if you do, they'll love you, they'll love you. I bet someone will love you if you do. You can't row a boat upstream if you got no oars. If you got no oars, and you can't get wet when it rains if you stay indoors. If you stay indoors, you think you always get the short end. And you never had a real friend And you think nobody loves you But they do Turn your boat around Let go where it wants to go Put your hat and slicker on Let it rain or snow And then the short end will get longer And your friendships will get stronger And a lot of folks will love you If you do if you do, if you do, they'll love you, they'll love you, you think nobody loves you, but they do, you think nobody loves you, but they do. <laughs> townspeople even had more fun than the Kidville kids when they started looking for the Easter eggs that Sonny hid. And to King Bruce and the others, those jelly beans were about the greatest invention since the wheel. And to Linda and Herbert, it was as if they suddenly had a million grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles. It wasn't until later in the day that Lady Longtooth discovered what was going on. What's this? More Easter eggs. I don't believe it. Children? How dare there be children? Sound the alarm. Get the children and that rabbit. Throw them in the dungeon. Get the children, get the rabbit, get the rabbit, get the children, get the children, get the rabbit, get the rabbit. Well, 
They got out of there just in time. We'll be back next year. Don't worry, we'll be back. No, sir, nothing could stop that Sonny once he made his mind up. As the next Easter Sunday neared, he got all of Kidville to work twice as hard making Easter eggs and jelly beans and new Easter outfits. He also had the candy maker make up a special design of his, his secret weapon, he called it. Whoa, what's your hurry? Easter's almost here. Never did see so much activity. Yeah, but I don't know. Even if we do get all this stuff into town, old lady Longtooth will just get some laws passed and all our work will be for nothing. You gotta work on King Bruce. He really is the ruler. Why, if he just take a stand? He seems all right when I'm with him, but the minute he's alone, he just can't stand up to his aunt. He needs some kind of a friend to give him courage when you ain't with him. I got it. You got what, my friend? I'm going right over to the Kidville seamstress and pillow maker. And when he set out again on Easter morning, Sonny had to take a whole safari with him to carry all the eggs and jelly beans and Easter outfits and secret weapons. Secret weapons, secret weapons, secret weapons, secret weapons. But when they got down the other side, on the hillside just above town, Get the kids, get the rabbit, get the rabbit, get the kids, get the kids, get the rabbit, get the rabbit, get the kids. I half expected this. That's why I devised Plan E, E for Easter. Very day, children still roll Easter eggs down the hill. Get that Easter bunny! Here's where my secret weapon comes in. Nyah, nyah, can't catch me. <laughs> He's hiding in that paper bag. He's inside. I can feel bunny through the paper. Back to the dungeon. Of course, when they got that sack open, they found that instead of a real Easter bunny, they'd captured... A chocolate Easter bunny! We've been tricked! <laughs> Off with his head! Yes! Hey, give me a foot! <laughs> now, you know what that was, don't you? The first chocolate Easter bunny! Sonny didn't have any trouble getting into town after that. Well, that Easter was even more joyous than the one before, because Sonny, the Easter Bunny, had even more surprises. When they got their new Easter outfits, they were so happy and surprised that they went right out to the main street and held... I know, the first Easter parade. Right. Then Sonny made his way into the palace and found King Bruce. What is it? I can't wait to see. Stuffed Easter toys, just like I've got at home. The very first ones. That's what all the kid seamstresses and pillow stuffers were working on. Now you'll always have lots of friends standing by your side when you need courage. You make folks so happy, Sonny. <laughs> I wish I could make everybody in town happy next Easter. Well, why don't you? Because I always have to sneak in. And that means I can't bring too much. I give you permission to come to town anytime, any way you wish. Don't you dare. Stand up to her, Bruce. You can, you know. You got lots of friends behind you now. Well? I know I outrank you, Aunt Lily. But I find it truly difficult to do so right now. Oh, no. I give you carte blanche. Do anything you wish. 
for the Easter Bunny must not come to town next year. <laughs> Well, everybody in Kidville worked night and day getting ready for that big Easter when the Easter Bunny would really come to town. What they didn't realize was that Lady Longtooth had lots of dirty tricks up her sleeve. Dirty tricks, 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 dirty tricks. Because there was so much to bring, they had planned to use Gadzooks to help them carry it all. But Lily Longtooth's men had a different idea. Well, Doc? He's broken his big toe. Gonna be laid up for a while. He'll never make Easter. But what'll we do? How will I get all that stuff to town? Say, I got an idea. Better than even a giant bear. Hey, what's that? We build a little railroad from here to town. Right over Big Rock Mountain. A railroad? I'm packing my bags. Ditto, kiddo. Let's hit the road. The big time at last. Sodom! Girls, please. A railroad? But how? You leave that to me. Why, I was one of the best gandy dancers of all time. That's an old expression for a guy who lays tracks. Why, I'll just send all the birds and varmints out with an SOS call for help. And all my old buddies, the best hobo gandy dancers in the whole darn world. Why, they'll give their eye teeth to build a railroad over the big rock candy mountain. Rock candy mountain? Well, to get guys to do a job like this, you gotta sweeten the deal a little. All the buzzing of the bees in the peppermint trees, the soda water fountain, where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountain. The buzzing of the bees in the peppermint trees, the soda water fountain, where the lemonade springs and the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountain. Easter Bunny, you got yourself a railroad. Fine, but what do we do for a train? Why, you just go down to the train yard and hire one. But when Sonny got to the train yard, all the engines in the roundhouse thought they were too important to pull Easter eggs and jelly beans and toy animals. Oh, please. It's a very important job. Important? Why, I'm the 20th Century Limited. And I'm the super duper chief. And I deliver coal to Newcastle. Don't bother us, little bunny. Well, they had just about given up. When on a little rusty siding, they saw our old friend Chugs. He wasn't so spiffy in those days, because he was kind of the runt of the roundhouse. And everybody put him down. Yeah, he was really singing the blues. What's the matter, Chugsy baby? Got the blues? Choo-choo, baby. Just between us chickens. What's the problem? I'm sitting in the station, lonely as can be. Choo-choo, baby. Never get to go nowhere. Life is passing me. Choo-choo, baby. All I hear is secondhand news. Yeah! I've got the train yard blues. Train yard blues, throw me down the track again. Train yard blues, throw me down the track again. I've had the train yard blues since I don't remember when. I need to do some traveling where the sounds are new. Hear a different way of talking, different point of view. Choo-choo, baby. Need a wear down some of my shoes. Yeah. I got the train yard blues. Train yard blues. Throw me down the track again. Choo-choo, Train yard blues. Throw me down the track again. I've had the 
Well, little fella, you can shake those blues because you have got yourself a job. Choo-choo, baby. Yeah. Well, Chugs got himself all polished up. Bright and early Easter morning, he reported for work. It was quite a load for a little engine to pull. It's all up to you, Chugs. I'll sure try. I'll sure try hard. That train must never get over Big Rock Mountain. Do anything you can to stop it. Play dirty. <laughs> All ready? Ready. Think you can manage it? Sure is hard. Sure is hard. Sure is hard. Oh, Chugs, you can do it. All you have to do, all you have to do, all you have to do is can do. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. If you think can do, you won't delay. If you think can do, you're on your way with a head of steam. Anything you dream of can come true. All you have to do, 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 all you have to do is think can do. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. All the no can do won't get you there if you're no can do. Your wheels get square, get your motor going, get your whistle blowing. Ooh, ooh. All you have to do, 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 all you have to do is think can do. To stay on the track, keep your gears from grinding, keep a steady clickety clack. If you think can do, the signals go. If you think can do, the fair winds blow. If you keep on chugging, if you keep on plugging, you'll get. To do, all you have 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 to do is think can do. I know I can, 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 I know I can. Where the track begins to climb, spread that melted butter on the rails. <laughs> oh, that stupid little engine will start slipping its wheels and be here all day. <laughs> Need traction. These will do. Squash the jelly bean and it's sticky as all get it. Get lots of salt. Salt? For what? For all them nummy Easter eggs we're gonna get to eat. Oh! 
just about the happiest Easter ever, with kids and old folks and Easter eggs and jelly beans and new outfits and every Eastery kind of thing you can imagine. I cannot stop it. This looks as if it started a tradition. Oh, bah. Happy Easter. <laughs> bah, Junebug. Ah, uh, Aunt Lily. Why can't you enjoy? I suppose you'll banish me now, your majesty. No, I don't think I'll banish you. I've got something else in mind. What? Why, it's lovely. White and fresh and new. It reminds me of a far, far away day when I was like springtime, before everything. <laughs> what, what do you call this flower? Why, it's named after you. It's called a lily. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so very much. Ah, uh, no time for blubbering. Let's join the celebration down there. Let's all have a happy Easter. <laughs> He's hippity hopping your way. So get your brushes and paints, give him a hand. It's Easter throughout the 